Yeah. Bet. Why? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Good girl. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Kieran and today I'll be swapping my lifestyle with Anjali. So I'll be leading her entire life for one day today. So I'm gonna, it's already 9am in the morning and I'm gonna get it ready to start the day off with breakfast with yogurt, I think. We'll take a look at it, we'll take a look at it in a bit. So I'll see you there. Alright, I guess it's time for breakfast and according to Anjali's schedule, she says that 9 to 10am is her breakfast and she usually eats yogurt but because I don't have yogurt at home, so we're going for the next healthy option. Brownie! Bruh! That's right, healthy living, right? And according to Anjali, she listens to a podcast. So let's hope I don't fall asleep, yeah? I'm Saruti, I'm Hannah, and welcome to- I saw- Anyway, uh, we are now on uh, what is essentially a lockdown without- food but it just seems like how do you space people out there that seems it's terrifying like, really yes, supposed to listen to this. you should be supporting local produce <gasps> i will be I watching netflix like right now right not listening food. to a podcast like in the morning but okay widen it's angeli's life that people are using i wouldn't even be up at this time now honestly all, all we know is let's just 10 seconds later zarin mahmood uh, Jen McCormick, Zooey, Michael whoa, 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 whoa. Crowder. Oh, you're still here. Crowder, I didn't possibly. realize that. I don't um, know. What year is yeah, it? Yeah, I didn't fall asleep. <laughs> it was just like a, a two minute nap, you know. Donna you know, Albin, two minute Leandra, nap, you know what I'm saying? Marshall, Channing Thomas, Jonathan Edwards. Oh, the podcast That's over. Okay. Yeah, that was a pretty interesting uh, podcast, Sherman, actually. Um, Nikki Brown, Mary Very Rambala, good episode Daniel of uh, Zach Daniel and Eddie, Chappelle, the two British girls. Is it? Who yeah. knows? Yeah, it's a good say, podcast, Angelina. It's a really good podcast. I like this episode. Brown, Thanks so much for the recommendation. Jess Thomas. Meanwhile. Well, I didn't see you there. <gasps> oh, Kieran is so dumb. So today I am living like Kieran and the first thing on the schedule was to wake up at 12 and I honestly can't remember the last time I woke up past 11 so that's obviously not happening. I've been lying in bed for like the past hour because I... 10 is like my cap. That's it. It's gonna hit like 11 I think so I'm just gonna get out of bed because there's no way I can just lie in bed for the next hour. It's too unproductive. Kieran, you hear that? Waking up at 12 is too unproductive. So now I'm going to take a shower. It's just after 11. I'm going to take a shower. I don't know if I'm going to have breakfast. Maybe I'll just have lunch. I feel like that's something Kieran would do. Kieran would just skip breakfast and have lunch. Yeah, so I'm going to just do that. Yeah. So according to Kieran, I'm supposed to be doing work until 4. It's currently 2. I had my lunch. I watched a little bit of Netflix. And now I'm starting on my progress report. So you can see the Google Doc, and hopefully by the time four rolls around, I'll be more or less where I want to be with the report. I'm, I'm a little bit tired, and I'm not gonna lie, because I did the math, and I only had about six hours of sleep. Because I slept at three thirty, I woke up at nine thirty, and I lay in bed till eleven, because I was trying to hit the twelve p.m. mark that Kieran usually hits, but I couldn't. Kind of in a dilemma now, if I should take a nap or if I should stick to the schedule and do work. I'm not sure what Kieran would do, to be honest. Would he take a nap or would he do work? That's the question. Because I've got a lot of things to do later, so if I'm like tired, I don't know if I want, if I would want to do it. Mm. Dilemma, dilemma. I'm so sleepy. But I have to be committed to the schedule because I know Kieran's committed to my schedule. And he can't win. He can't win at this game. I'm going to win at this game. There's no way he's gonna win. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna make some coffee so that I don't sleep. Yep. I'm gonna make some coffee. Also, fun fact, Kieran used to sweet boy, he used to buy me coffee whenever we had our 10 a.m. shows. Aww. Cause he knows that when I come in I'm like dead inside and I need coffee to be revived. So he always bought me coffee. So according to Anjali's schedule, the next thing on is uh, baking. So, and I'm probably gonna do egg muffins. I, I don't know, I don't really bake, so this should be kind of easy. So yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, so I'm doing egg muffins. 
Uh, let's get to the whiskey. Really, Anjali, I really got no idea how I got so much time to do all this. Alright, that's the cream, Italian seasoning, onion powder, all the powder, and parsley. Let's get to work. So I forgot to film the part where I was chopping the vegetables and everything but now we added vegetables, we added ham, we got cheese, we got a lot of other stuff and now it's just time to whisk it. I just prepared these foils with butter inside so we're gonna put the batter inside later and then we're just gonna start baking. Then I got half the tomatoes, half the dark tomatoes. Yeah. So this is the final product, mozzarella on top of it and now we're gonna put it in the oven. Also another thing we need to do is set the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and we're gonna bake it for about 20 minutes. And voila, this is the final result, egg muffins. done in my work for today. I have a little bit more to do later but I think I'll do it at night according to Kieran's schedule. So now it's 4 and 4 to 5 is supposed to be game time and obviously I don't game. Look at me. Do I look like I game? I don't game and I don't know the first thing about games. My brother has uh, FIFA and the basketball game, the NBA game. I don't know, but my sister is currently watching TV and I tried asking her whether I could use the TV and she kind of yelled at me and so I left. Um, so I'm gonna figure out another game to play, something else I can play on my computer. I'm not entirely sure what that will be, but we'll see. I'll try to record myself playing it because I don't play games like I said. When I say I don't know the first thing about games, I'm like not even kidding. I know nothing, nothing about playing games. It's actually worrying. So I'm gonna play white, basically. I haven't played white played white before. Like, I haven't been to the website, but I've heard of it. Um, and a lot of people told me to just play white since I couldn't play outside because my sister's hogging the TV. So I'm gonna just play white for one hour. I'm gonna play this racing game because it seemed interesting. <laughs> I don't like this song. Okay. This seems kind of stupid, I'm not gonna lie. It's the, the game is so laggy, this is so bad. That's not fair. Okay, I'll have everyone know that I, I've been taking driving lessons. Obviously, it's been. Um, I'll try it. As I mentioned, I've been taking driving lessons like since for a whole year probably so I feel like if this was actual real life I could do this a lot better than if it was if, like right now as I'm playing the game and I don't think a lot of people can say that so pretty sure I would do a lot better if I was actually in this car right now Oh this game is so... Oh, should I be worried? frustrating me, not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be a really good time, but I'm, I'm feeling really, really frustrated right now. Oh! Okay, 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 No! I'll give a game three tries. That's all I'm giving it. This is my calling, and I'm 100% sure of it. Because I am pretty good at Mario Kart, if I do say so myself. I'm literally falling in slow motion. <laughs> okay. Remember the last time I played for an hour? I can't remember the last time I played. Just played anything. Wow. Really boring person. Yeah, this is not my fault. This is the gun's fault. I don't understand why it doesn't really go fast enough. I don't like the sound effects. 
I really am not a fan of those sound effects. Get in my bus. Please. I threw it off a cliff. I'm an excellent driver. Don't get it wrong. If you get in my car, you will live. I can guarantee that 100%. should ever give me a license ever you know what i'm gonna call it a day because i realized that games really frustrate me and get my heart beating really really fast and i don't like it so we're gonna stop playing games because i think i fulfilled my time and i don't like it so we're gonna stop I just finished playing badminton with my sister who is my dog for today and I'm a little bit tired not gonna lie I know Kieran sent me uh, a wushu beginner video because he said I should try it but he also asked me to do a run so I'm not entirely sure if I can do both because I don't think I have enough energy for both and I'm also really hungry I want to shower and I want to have my dinner so I think I'm still deciding which one I should do whether I should do the wushu thing or the run because I don't think I can do both that's a lot so Anjali says it's uh, workout time from 7pm to 8pm and I really can't believe I'm doing this but okay okay for you, Anjali. Oh. Anjali, this for you. Cross the opposite elbow as possible and keep your core engaged. To keep your core engaged, remember to breathe, glutes engaged, and make sure your core is tight. Anjali, you okay? I'll do the, the remaining two sets. I'll see you right after that. Okay, Anjali, I wiped my sweat off and everything, Eddie. Ah, huh? time for the ab workout. Okay, Chloe Ting's ab workout. You haven't killed me yet, ah? Huh? Not bad. I haven't exercised in a while. Huh? I really hate you, Anjali. Hey, you Anjali. Next up, we have brush and twist. Do it slow and controlled, and my abs were burning so badly at this point. Brush and twist, huh? You ain't get that on me. Ooh, feel the burn. Ooh. Okay, Anjali. Like yeah, so last one, huh? This one is for arms, okay? By Pamela Ref. Right. I can't believe I'm doing all this, but okay. I need to use water bottles, huh? Oh, I, I can't really do this properly because the room's a little narrow, yeah? But yeah, I'm still holding the Superman. The back part, as you can see, my back is still not touching. My legs are still off the floor. So yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you got me there, Anjali. <sighs> okay. There's one hour work workout done for you already, yeah? Wow. Whew. Wow. That was intense. Okay, not so bad lah, but like, I think I actually hurt my back <laughs> right here when I was doing like the Superman, the Superman transfer thingy, I don't know what it's called lah. But, but, oh, okay, Anjali, you win this time. 
so I just finished my run. I think that's the most I've like ran without stopping to walk. And I think it's mainly because I was actually terrified that someone was gonna come and arrest me because I wasn't wearing my mask. But literally, if I had worn my mask while I was, you know, taking rest, I literally would have fainted. I haven't run in a while. Kieran made me run. So thank you, I guess. Okay, so I already like showered and everything. That was a pretty insane workout from Anjali. And the last thing to do is Netflix. Firstly, uh, let me just say that Anjali told me that her name is currently like 8.50 but 9 p.m. to 9 to like 11 p.m. is her time for final work but the thing is I have no work so Netflix time so she told me to watch this show Parks and Recreation I'll give it a go yeah so, I'm done with the day as Anjali and we live very different lives Anjali so I'm glad to have mine back <laughs> And yeah, it's currently 12 a.m. I think it's time for my nap time. Oh, sleep, uh, bedtime. That's right, bedtime. I'm gonna be sleeping all the way to 9 a.m. tomorrow, hopefully. And yeah, it's been great living uh, Anjali's life actually. It's pretty fun, like baking and Chloe things work out. Hmm. Good stuff, yeah. But other than that, I hope Anjali had a great time living my life. I'm pretty sure you, my life's pretty interesting. So yeah. So, um, I just finished um, all the work I had to do today. That's great. I finished Kieran's schedule and I am currently watching my favourite show right now. I'm obsessed with it, actually obsessed with it, Parks and Recreation. So, I think I did an okay job following his schedule. I'm a little bit upset that I didn't push myself to do the wushu thing. But there was just no way that was happening. Like. I, I ran, and that's about all I was going to do today. But it was an interesting day. I didn't do the things that I usually do, like um, you're probably like listening to podcasts or baking or doing my head. I didn't do any of those things today, which was new. But now I come to realize that our days are actually pretty similar. I don't like nothing super out of the ordinary. I tried new things today. I went to Y8 for the first time, which I wouldn't have done if not for Kieran and I hope that he had a good and fulfilling day he woke up at 9 as opposed to waking up at 12 so he just gained 3 hours of, of a day so hopefully he was incredibly productive and he feels energized and revitalized and now he's going to start waking up at 9am every day like that's my hope that's really really my hope